While portable generators can vary from model to model, they operate on similar principles, producing power using a gasoline engine and an electromagnet. In this video, we will show how a generator with a voltage regulator and a brush system operates. Assuming the engine is running properly with a top speed of 3750 RPM with no load applied. This generator type uses a rotor, stator, voltage regulator, and brushes to generate 120 volts of alternating current, 240 volts, or both. The rotor is essentially a magnet that rotates inside of a conductor like copper coil, creating a magnetic field that induces current. This stator has three main copper coil windings, the excitation winding, and two voltage output windings that create the rotor's magnetic field. The excitation winding sends voltage to the rotor through the voltage regulator and brushes. By increasing or decreasing the voltage applied to the rotor, the generator controls the voltage of the output windings. The voltage regulator converts the voltage sent to the rotor from alternating current to direct current and monitors the output winding voltage as well. The regulator has a preset reference voltage that the output winding should produce. In North America, that voltage is 120 volts of alternating current at 60 Hz. If the output voltage is too low, the regulator increases the direct current voltage being sent to the rotor to strengthen the rotor's magnetic field. Conversely, if the output voltage is too high, the regulator will decrease the direct current output to the rotor to weaken the magnetic field. If the generator is not producing current at all, you should first determine if an outlet breaker has tripped. It's also possible that the rotor has lost its residual magnetism, which can be reintroduced by a process called flashing the field. To do this, you can use a 12-volt DC battery and two jumper leads with quarter-inch terminals or alligator clips. Disconnect the two wires from the brush block. Then connect the negative lead from the battery to the negative brush terminal furthest from the rotor bearing. Connect the positive lead to the terminal closest to the bearing. Start the generator engine and allow it to run for a few seconds. Be careful not to touch the leads. Turn off the engine, disconnect the jumper leads, reattach the brush wires, and confirm that sufficient output current is being generated. If the generator is still failing to produce power, you should inspect the brushes. If the brushes are worn down or damaged, they will need to be replaced. If the brushes appear to be in good shape, then the voltage regulator may be defective. The rotor and stator can potentially fail as well, although this is not a common problem. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your generator. Enter the product's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.